Hello everyone. Let us try to see this problem on coplanar concurrent flow system which was asked in the V2 exams that is in 2015. So here we have two cables which are attached at the top of the tower. So if you see now this is one tower we have to this two cables are attached which are applying a force of 150 kilonewton and 350 kilonewtons and which is carrying a guy cable so this is another guy cable we have which I will mark it as A B determine the tension in the guy cable such that the resultant of all the forces in all three cables act vertically down so we have to find out the tension in this cable AB such that resultant has to act vertically down that means resultant will be acting vertically downwards this will be the resultant force then next what they have said they also find out the resultant force that means we have to calculate this value of R so we have to calculate what is the tension in this cable AB as well as we have to calculate the value of R so this is what they have asked in the question so let us try to solve this problem so let us uh, first try to uh, calculate this angle alpha so we don't know this angle alpha so first let us try to calculate this angle alpha with respect to horizontal at what angle it is inclined if you want to calculate this we can uh, use this data that is this cable uh, if you take this uh, center of this uh, tower from this till this the uh, distance is 15 meters and vertical height of the tower is 20 meters so for example if I am going to draw this triangle that is this is guy cable a b we have and this is alpha we have so this horizontal distance is 15 meters and vertical height is 20 meters yeah so this much data we have now with the help of this data let us try to calculate this value of alpha so what we can do we can calculate tan alpha that will be equal to 20 divided by 15 so therefore if you calculate this alpha will be equal to tan inverse of 20 by you 20 by 15 so therefore we'll be getting value of alpha that is value of alpha we are going to get it as 53.13 degrees so this will be the value of alpha then next now we have calculated this uh, alpha value then next let us try to draw the free body diagram of this if you see this cables let us try to draw the free body diagram of these all the forces which are acting on this body so if you take uh, this as the x-axis if this is the x-axis we have and uh, this is vertical we will take it as y-axis so out of this what happens is that one force of 150 kilonewton it is acting here 150 kilonewton we have another uh, force we have that is cable we have so I will mark it as TAB that is tension in the cable AB then next we will take another force which is shown here that is 350 kilonewtons so I have shown forces one by one this is 350 newton I have shown here uh, 150 newton I have shown it here the next is this tension cable I have shown it tension AB so these are angles inclined is 25 degrees this is uh, 10 degrees and uh, this cable it is inclined at an angle of 53.13 degrees so if you see now this angle is alpha, uh, this cable it is inclined at an angle of alpha with respect to horizontal so this angle will be equal to this angle so therefore this cable it is inclined at an angle of 53.13 degrees so now this is the free body diagram so let us try to find out the resultant force now. so what happens is that they have given uh, that is uh, resultant is go, uh, has to act vertically down so therefore as uh, resultant is vertical as resultant is vertical so what happens is that from this we will come to know one equation that is uh, summation of f of x will be equal to 0 that means r of x is equal to 0 as resultant is going to act vertically downwards so its component along x direction will be equal to 0 
so therefore all the forces if you sum up along x direction that will be equal to 0 so based on that condition let us try to calculate the value so if you are going to resolve this forces along x all these forces along x direction so we will be getting equation as so first I will take this 350 kilo Newton that is 350 we have it is going to move towards right side if you see the arrow and if you are going to resolve it is going to move towards right therefore positive and if you are going to resolve along x axis it will be along the angle so therefore it is cos of 25 degrees then next you will take this 150 Newton force uh, if you see the arrow it is going to move towards left therefore it is minus 150 and we are going to resolve along x direction therefore this will be cos of 10 degrees then next we will try to resolve this tension in the cable AB that is if you are going to resolve along x axis this will be minus T AB and uh, angle is 53.13 we are resolving along the angle therefore it is 53.13 so all the forces that has to be equated to 0 so here if you see we have one equation and we have one unknown so therefore if you simplify this we will be getting answer for TAB that is tension in the cable AB so that will be equal to 282.48 newtons so this will be the answer that is we have found out the tension in the cable AB then next what they have asked they have asked us to calculate also find the resultant force so by seeing this we have to calculate the resultant force also so now another equation we have that is summation of f of y that is equal to r summation of f of y is equal to r why because resultant is acting downwards so if you are going to sum up all the forces along y direction that has to be equal to r so therefore now so let us try to resolve this uh, forces along y direction now so this 350 newton force along the y axis if you are going to resolve it is going to move downwards therefore this will be minus of 350 and we are resolving away from the angle therefore this will be sine of 25 degrees then next we will resolve this tension in the cable AB and we are going to resolve it away from the angle therefore if you see the arrow it is going to move downwards so that will be equal to tension in the cable AB and away from the angle we are resolving therefore it is sine of 53.13 degrees then next this 150 Newton force let us try to resolve that is minus of it is going to move downwards therefore it is minus 150 into sine of 10 degrees so that has to be equated to r why it will be equal to r because all the forces they are going to act in a downward direction so therefore uh, we have a value of this tab that is uh, this value is 282.48 so this multiplied by sine of 53.13 if you see this equation only we have one equation and one unknown so therefore we can get the value of this so therefore r will be equal to if you simplify you will be getting answer as 400 Newtons.